Hey, thanks for stopping by What's New Barbecue. As you can see in the background here, I've got my Timberline 850 Traeger all put together. And we're going to be seasoning this pit up today so we can start cooking on it on the channel. If this is y'all's first time stopping by, go ahead and hit that subscription button down below. And that bell right next to it. So y'all can get notifications of all the uploads that we do on What's New Barbecue. But if y'all stick around, we'll uh, go ahead and get to seasoning this pit up and I'll show you how to do it. Alright guys, I've had a lot of questions about this Timberline 850 Traeger since I've gotten it. And I just wanted to show y'all what it looked like before we get to rolling with this seasoning process. Let me bring y'all in a little bit closer and open this up. And as you can see, it has three layers or levels of racks. So you got a lot of cooking space here. And these slide in and out really easily. And they're really heavy duty also, so that's always a plus. And underneath these racks, you've got your grease plate where your grease can drip down. And it's actually slanted towards the front of the pit, so that makes it easy for that grease to trail down um, into the grease collector. And right here is the display unit. And all you do is hold this button down, and it'll pop on just like that. And that's how you know that the actual pellet smoker itself is turned on. And right here is where the pellets go in in the hopper. And that's just an easy fill up process. Let me go ahead and reposition this camera and we will get to seasoning this up. Alright guys, we're going to go ahead and get to seasoning this up. And I just wanted to show you the button options first. Um, you have your timer option, super smoke, keep warm, the menu option, and then the ignite button. And then they also come with this really cool auxiliary temperature probe that goes right into the pit itself. Um, but to season this up, we're going to dial this up to 500 degrees. And we're going to cook at that process or temperature for 45 minutes. So we'll just dial it up to that. And then we press the knob in to set the temperature, and it's saying push ignite to start. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to hit ignite. And as you can see, the pit has kicked on, and it's coming up to temperature. It's saying that it's igniting. Let me bring you all in a little bit closer. See right there it says igniting, it says it's at 77 degrees and we're trying to get to 500. Alright guys, while the pit's coming up to temperature, we are going to go ahead and spray the inside of this cooking area with some canola oil or you can use vegetable oil. I know people are going to use bacon grease, we're just going to get that nice coating on the inside to help with the seasoning process. You want to spray your insides, not your outsides. But that should be good. Alright guys, while this Traeger is coming up to temperature some more, I just wanted to show you all a little bit more of how it's set up. And this right here is actually where the smoke trails out. And as it gets pushed through by the auger and periodically throughout the cook process, the Traeger controls the amount of smoke that actually hits the meat, so it's a more controlled environment as far as that's concerned. But I just wanted to show y'all where the smoke actually exit, exits out from on this pit. And I will keep y'all updated as more comes up throughout this seasoning process. I just wanted to show y'all, I went ahead and dialed back the desired temperature to 350 degrees. And as you can see, we're at 325, 326, so almost there. And I'm going to go ahead and just let it continue at that heat for the duration of the remaining 35 minutes. But I just wanted to keep y'all updated as changes or things come up throughout this seasoning process. And I'll be back with y'all here in a little bit really starting to smell great got that maple hickory cherry mix in the hopper like I said and what's awesome is I can smell smoke but it's just that perfect thin blue smoke that everybody looks for 
and I can see it right now but it's hard to pick up on the camera let me go ahead and bring y'all around to the front and we'll open up the main cooking chamber and see what's going on on the inside all right and like I said I set that to 350 after all and as you can see we're right at 352 degrees which is perfect with me let's go ahead and open this up smells great everything's rolling nicely nice smoke in there alright guys we got about 10 minutes left on this seasoning process for the Timberline 850 Traeger and I just wanted to show you all how you do that if you all pick up one of these pellet smokers um, as you can see it's rolling right along perfect and y'all don't skip out on seasoning on your pit and that goes for any pit not just a pellet smoker um, it's real important to season your barbecue pit before you put food on it in most instances unless they uh, specifically state that in their instructions that it doesn't require seasoning for, before you cook on it um, but you want to get that initial brand new taste out of it um, smoke it out get a good cook in it and that way that does not get on your meat you don't want that flavor on your meat but I appreciate y'all for stopping by What's New Barbecue. And like I said at the beginning, if you haven't subscribed yet, please go ahead and hit that subscription button down below, as well as that bell, so you can keep track of what we have going on on this barbecue journey. Until next time, guys, y'all keep on barbecuing. Grilling as you reminisce the good old days. Checking temperature on the smoker gauge. Choosing as the sun goes down. Just a gobbler of being for my